it is time to start the test matches. After having two days rest after the first one day international both team marched to face Alabad to play the first test between October 16th and 21st. This is Sri Lanka's 16th test match. Despite the heroic of players like Wasim Akram, Azim Hafiz, and Kasim Umar, Pakistan lost the test series previously to New Zealand by 2-0. Trying to back cut Akram, it's the bottom edge, and chops it onto his off stump. Akram to Reed. Oh, and it's balled in, flexed up. Reed trying to let glance, gets too far across his stumps, and Akram has hit his leg stump, and Reed's out for... Two for three, New Zealand. Akram bowling to Jeff Crow. Oh, good ball, appeal for LBW, and Jeff Crow is out. LBW to Akram for six. Oh, that's an easy catch to second slip, and that's the valuable wicket of Martin Crow gone. Javid Mendak took the catch, and New Zealand now on real strife. Crow out for 57. It's 205. And that's out. That's a marvelous catch by Anil Delpat, the wicket keeper. And Akram's got five wickets. Real Rodney Marsh stuff from... Uh... And it's down the leg side and there's an appeal for court behind and John Reed's out. Caught by Anil Delpat for no score and New Zealand lose their second wicket. At... He's bowling to Howarth. And Jeff Howarth is out. He's been caught at first slip. Very confident appeal, and Jeff Crow is out. LBW first ball. Still going to have to contend with left arm over the wicket bowlers because Akram has replaced Mudassa. And Ian Smith is out, caught at second slip. Wasim Akram takes his fourth wicket. New Zealand are seven wickets down, 200 and leg. Oh, and Lance Cairns has been hit very hard indeed on the head. He tried to duck out of the way of it, Akram ducked. Pakistan made three changes for the test match. They rested Ramiz Raja, Tahir Naktesh, and Zakir Khan and brought Qasim Umar as the one down batsman and two pace men, Wasim Akram and Jalal Uddin to strengthen the bowling department. Sri Lanka decide to drop one medium pace man and go with extra batsmen. Maybe their weak batting performance leads to the decision. They replace medium pace man Vino then John with the opening batsman Sidath Wedamuni. Aravinda Da Silva has been sent back to the middle order. Mr. Kiyazer Hayat and Mr. Mahbub Shah was appointed as umpires. After winning the toss Sri Lanka decided to bat first. Amal Silva made another dashing start and scored 17 and got himself out as the first wicket when the score was at 23. Runjan didn't last long and scored only 5. Vice Captain Roy Diaz came next and put up 85 runs for the third wicket with opening batsman Sidath. Just like Lord Sidath is having good memories in face Alibut as well. Back in 1982 he has scored his and country's first ever test 100 in the same venue. Again he managed to score a 50 here. This is Sidath's third test 50 and he falls as the third Sri Lankan wicket. Dios not being able to score a 50 he was two runs short and goes when the scores at 129. Arjuna joined skipper Duliap and bring the total to 165 then Duliap departs for 15 to Imran. Sri Lanka in little bit of trouble, they lose half of their side now end of the first day. At stumps Sri Lanka were 180-5. Sidath is the top scorer of the day with 52 and Imran took two wickets within the day. Second day started. At the later stage of the previous day Aravinda joined Arjuna in the stumps. Both these two youngsters batted really well and put up 121 for the sixth wicket, the second best all-time highest by Sri Lankan duo. Arjuna falls as the 6th wicket and he scored 79 runs, his 4th test 50 addition to his one and only test century. Ravi Ratnayak came next and played a good innings of 34, before run out American Samoa the only other wicket of the day. It was a good day for Sri Lanka they lost only 2 wickets during the day, scored 183 runs. Arjuna added 53 to his previous day score and Aravinda looks superb at the wicket. He was playing a patience innings of 93 not out at stumps. This aggressive player scored only 85 runs during the whole day. Only Kadir had a joy of taking a wicket during the day. On the third day Ashantha scored 17 and gone as the first wicket. Star of the show is younger Aravinda. 
he batted for 510 minutes and hit 17 boundaries and 3-6s to pass his first ever century. This is the fifth test appearance of this young man and he has proven his capability with the bat by handling it nicely against the mighty bowling attack of Imran and the rest. He and Ramesh build up much needed 52 runs for the ninth wicket in Aravind Dagon after scoring 122. Ramesh playing on his eighth test game scored his maiden test 50. He is a promising all-rounder for Sri Lanka and got himself out to Kadir as the last man. So Sri Lanka after batting marathon of 200.3 overs scored 479. This is Sri Lanka's second largest run score in an innings after their effort against England at Lords of 491 for 7. Pakistan came to the pitch on the third day afternoon and they had a scoreboard pressure. But just like the first one day game they built a good partnership of unbeaten 86 for the first wicket at stumps. Mudassar was 42 not out and Shoaib was 33 not out. They both look strong at the middle. After playing the third day both teams had a rest on the following day. Fourth day of the test played on a fine Saturday morning of October 19 Shoeb was not being able to add any runs for his third day's score and he was the first to go this time for 33. Then came Kasim to the wicket and he built 72 for the second wicket with Mudassar. So, when the scores were at 158, Mudassar goes for 78. Javid walks to the pitch as number 4. Then Sri Lanka's nightmare starts. Both of them put 155 unbeaten partnerships for the third wicket. Pakistan number 3 batsman Kasim Umar was playing on his 18th test game. On the last game against New Zealand before this test match he was brilliant with the bat. Both the innings he has scored 96 and 89 respectively but misses his century. At the end of the day, he was not out at 95 and the Pakistan skipper keeping the other end with a score of 81. Only Ramesh was able to grab two wickets within the day. Final day of the test started. Kasim walked to the pitch to score his much needed test 100. Not only a century, here he was able to score his second double ton. He was not being able to pass his previous best of 210 against India on the same venue last year October. But this innings brought his third test 100. In addition to that he has scored four test 50s. He falls short when the scores were at 555. He and Myandad put 397 runs to the third wicket. This is the second best ever for the third wicket. World record 2 lies with Pakistan and that was a mammoth 451 runs partnership between Javed Myandad and Mudassar Nazar in 1983 against India. This is the overall 8th best partnership ever in test history and the best against Sri Lanka. Captain Myandad was the other star of the show. He was playing his 69th game and already passes his 5000 test runs. This is his 14th test 100. Out of that 14 centuries 3 of them were doubles. He has passed 150 mark 3 times. In addition to that he has scored 27 50s. So, Pakistan stops their innings after Kasim falls, 5th day closer reaches when this happens so match was ended with a draw. Despite the two double centuries, organizers awarded the man of the match to Aravinda Da Silva for his gallant innings. That concludes the first test match. Let's see what has happened to the second one day game in our next episode.